I'm Ranger Kate. I am here at Mount Auburn Cemetery for the 161st anniversary of Fanny Appleton Longfellow's very sudden and tragic death. We know Fanny from the journals, letters, and sketchbooks that she left behind, but we also know her from the words of people around her who knew her. Her eventual husband, Henry Longfellow, described Fanny as a woman not of talent, but of genius to a friend af shortly after he met her. Henry did not write many poems about members of his family, but Fanny was the inspiration for his sonnet, Cross of Snow. In the long, sleepless watches of the night, a gentle face, the face of one long dead, looks at me from the wall, where round its head the night lamp casts a halo of pale light. Here in this room she died, and soul more white never through martyrdom of fire was led to its repose, nor can in books be read the legend of a life more benedite. There is a mountain in the distant west that, sun-defying, in its deep ravines displays a cross of snow upon its side. Such is the cross I wear upon my breast these eighteen years, through all the changing scenes and seasons, changeless since the day she died.